Because we often want to relate our mathematics to real life situations, when we talk about things, there are certain vocabulary words that seem to indicate that we're dealing with inequalities instead of equations. Anytime that you're looking at a comparison of values or you're interested in a range of solutions, generally those are situations where inequalities are involved. Keep in mind that the inequalities that we've been working with that would be part of writing expressions um, would be things like greater than, greater than or equal to, and also things like less than or less than or equal to. And choosing which one, which inequality is of course going to make a huge difference in terms of what your solution is. You're going to shade an entirely different section of the graph and have a completely different set of values. Now, usually when we see the words like greater than, we think of more and and when we think of less than, we think of less and smaller. Um, but you have to be careful about how the wording on some of these things goes when you're talking in English. And one of the best things that I found that I can do is I'm trying to decide which of these inequalities that I wanted to want to include. When I look at things like more than six, at most six, at least six, less than six, all of these actually have very different meanings in terms of inequalities. And to keep them straight, what I want to do is think about, well, what kind of answers would work in this situation? And then once you can talk about what kind of answers you can use, it makes it easier to sit down and narrow down which inequality to pick for that description. For example, let's say that we're looking at things that are more than six. Well, things that are more than six would be things like seven, eight, or nine. We don't actually want to include six this time not six at all. And the reason is because we want more than six. So in this case, what we would be looking at is something like x greater than six. We want values that are bigger than six, even like 6.01, but we don't want actually six, so we don't have the equal to here. But it's bigger values that work. In contrast, if you see something like um, problem 12 here asks us to find at most six, well, if it's at most six, then things like seven, eight, and nine don't work at all. Even though we see that word that kind of sounds like more, we don't actually want things that are more because at most means this is an upper limiting factor. At most six means I want things like two, three, or four, and I can include six this time because it says at most six. So when I go to write my inequality at most six, I want to pick up things that are less than six or actually equal to six when I come up with that expression. So thinking about, you know, does seven apply or does two apply when I'm thinking about at most six? At most six means not seven, but two would work. And then you can kind of think about which sections of the graph to shade from there. If we're looking at a problem like at least six, well, at least six means that we want to th think of things like seven, eight, or nine things that are bigger. It's got to be six or bigger. So as I come in here to write my inequality here, I do want things that are on the bigger end, but this time, because it's at least six, I can include six as a potential solution here for this one. Less than six, on the other hand, means that I want things like two, three, and four again, but not six. So in this case, I could use x less than six to describe that particular solution set. The last example here that I have is something where we have the word between. Um, and anytime you see the word between, what we're looking at is we want values that are sandwiched in the middle. So I want x values with 6 on the lower end and 12 on the upper end. So we want to kind of sandwich our inequalities in this way. Because we're writing values with the smallest one on the left and the biggest one on the right, always use less thans when you're doing these particular chains. And that keeps everything really clear for people that are looking in and trying to interpret your inequality solutions. So this is going to be one way that you can write it. Now the word between, it's not always very clear when they use that word whether you include those edge values or not. So you would have to really use the context of the problem in order to decipher that a little bit better. Sometimes it will specifically tell you that 6 and 12 are okay values and you would want to include them in your set and sometimes not. So. Um, read a little bit more carefully in the context to decide whether you would include the equal to or not. But in either case or in either instance, we do want to make sure that the 6 is on the left, the 12 is on the right, and we are using um, less than directions in order to indicate those inequalities.